Hi, I'm Jim, and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. <clears throat> and I promised one of my viewers that I would help him out with a cable issue he has. Uh, his clutch cable broke. He didn't say if it was the pedal end or the yoke end that broke. But whatever you do, don't throw the cable away. You will need it. Now there's different styles. This is a, what most of the old machines have. The pedal goes through the front, the cable comes out of here, goes through the frame into the tube, and goes back to the yoke or the brake, depending if you have one pedal or two pedals. The pedal I used to meet, this one I sent to a viewer because he wants to switch. He has a single pedal machine and he wanted to switch sides with the pedal because of his, I don't know if I can pronounce this <laughs> correctly, but his prosthesis, he has trouble working the pedal. So I got the other pedal out and the rubber pad and I just sent it to him. Or they have this style. This is one that's in the SR machines. It goes through the front frame and the cable hooks inside the frame, not on the outside. And this is another style for the SR. And again, it goes through the frame, but this one has teeth on it. And this is what locks your parking brake you lift up on the handle and you uh, you push the brake pedal down. You lift up on the handle and it catches in these teeth and locks the brake. Now, <clears throat> what you want to do when your cable breaks, stretch it out and measure it. Or you can go online to partstree.com with your model number, look up clutch cable, and in the description about 90% of the time it'll tell you how long it's supposed to be. Now you got a couple options. I went down and bought six foot of 1 8 inch steel cable. And six foot of that cable was two dollars and seventy cents so it's a whole lot cheaper than buying a forty or fifty dollar cable from one of the suppliers and you have to buy these cute tiny little cable clamps now these are the smallest ones I found this is for one sixteenth cable yes and yes you're using one eighth inch cable on your machine. Cable clamps are designed to run the cable through, make a loop, and come back through and clamp. So a 1 16th cable clamp would have an eighth of an inch of cable in it once you made the loop. But for this, we're just going to stick it in there once and crimp it on the end. Now they didn't have any. But this is a style for making a loop. You stick the cable through, you loop it, put it back through, and you crush this either in a vise or with a hammer. Now you can get them that it's just like a tube. It's not double. And they're probably about half this length. They look about a lot like the ferrule that's crushed on the end of your cable. They didn't have any in stock, so I couldn't buy one to show you. But this one, you're going to run this through your tube. Now, if your cable is still in your tube, tie a string on it and pull the string through when you pull the cable out. If you have a double pedal machine, your clutch cable will just be a straight piece of cable. If you have a single pedal machine, your clutch cable is going to be the same length. It's going to go from the pedal back to the yoke, but your brake 
cable is going to hook to it with this little plastic block that's held together with a nut and a bolt and it slides on the cable and it's designed that way so as you're working the clutch the brake isn't activated it's when you push the clutch in all the way it pulls the cable from the brake now whatever and if you have a single pedal machine whatever end has broke on you measure from the opposite end that is still good come up here where this ferrule is crushed on and if you want to go buy one of these and use it that's fine otherwise take your cable clamp and clamp it on this cable that will act as this ferrule so when you push in your clutch all the way it will pull your brake cable these very seldom break what typically breaks on these and I've warned all of you to be extremely careful with it because this is plastic the end of this cable the brake cable has a ferrule crushed onto it the end of this up inside of there there's a spring and on the very end there's another piece of steel crushed onto the cable so you cannot replace this you have to buy the whole cable and this is plastic and this neck down part is where your little snap ring goes these break off very easily I just had a viewer that had one break on him and I told him you can try one of these on here slide it all the way down to the plastic when it's through your brake arm and tighten it up that might hold this from coming out otherwise you got to buy a new brake cable so if you got a double pedal machine you've got this hooked on here where it's supposed to be take the other end now there's a couple different yokes this is a newer style and on if you've been watching the other videos on Bruce's machine his wore right through in the ferrule pulled out that's why he, the guy had no clutch he couldn't figure out what was wrong with it he, he looked under there and the cable was loose he thought the cable was broke so he bought a brand new cable put it in the side hole pulled it up around put the machine back together and when he stepped on the pedal that pulled the cable out he just sold the machine this part here comes unbolted from your yoke and it's around 20 bucks so he sold a nice machine because of a $20 part the older style look like this the cable hooks in down here same thing it's got a hole in the side you stick your cable through you turn it up and it locks in if the ferrules on the end so what you're gonna do this newer style the cable hooks in on here you're gonna slip the cable through and you're gonna lock this on the very end of it then you're gonna run it up through your tube you're going to come out that side hole and go through the pedal you're going to move the pedal up put the machine in gear you can put a pair of pliers on the yoke to act as the clutch put it in first gear and let the yoke go then put the pedal about in the middle of the stroke put the cable through the back of the pedal and put on another clamp now these are adjustable so if you're off a little bit you can just move these that's the nice part versus the one you crush on if you knew exactly how long the cable is supposed to be you could crush it on there and it wouldn't be a problem these little cable clamps oh let's see they're 79 cents a piece so that's not the end of the world 
So I got everything here for $5.54. That was two cable clamps. This thing, which you're not even going to need, that was $0.95. Cents, so knock a buck off of that. $4.50 some cents, you can make a new cable for your machine. And that's all there is to it. If you need help, send me an email. I answer all my emails, if possible. My, I need a drink, sorry. My wonderful smartphone, I'm about ready to duct tape it to a tree and shoot it. How I answer my emails, I get so many when I'm working with somebody back and forth like once a week, I cannot remember what your issue is. So as I click on your email and it opens up, it also opens up all the previous emails and I can back up and see what your issue is. Well, my handy dandy phone here, the other last Saturday I was answering emails and I noticed the emails were scrolling. Not the one I was answering, but all the rest of them below it. And I'm thinking, what the heck is this phone doing? Well, it erased 800 emails. That's about a year's worth. And every once in a while, I'll get notified telling me your space is 95% used up. So I go back to the beginning and I erase a year's worth of emails. But now they're all gone. So if you send me an email and I send you an answer and it just sounds a little funny, apparently I couldn't remember exactly what your issue was. So for a while, if you send me an email saying, hey, I need a little help, remind me of what your problem was <laughs> in the first place. <coughs> but that's it, uh, very simple. If you have any questions, for goodness sakes, put them in the box below or send me an email. And if you still are stumped, I will, I'll do another video and show you how to do it. I've got some <coughs> emails the other day and I wasn't really sure if it was a comment or not. Maybe I deleted it. It was about bending, the video I got on bending copper tubing. The guy wrote me and he says, you know, he says, you talk too much. But as watching the whole video, the very end was kind of interesting how I bend tubing. Well, I'm not here for the mechanically inclined people like myself. I can do most anything just by looking at it and trying to figure out what's wrong with it. There's a lot of people out there that can't. They're the ones that I'm here for. I've got a lady down south. I don't remember where exactly she is. I believe her name is Deb. She buys broken down snappers, fixes them up and sells them for an income. That's the people I'm here for. And uh, a lot of times I've got another lady in Minnesota does the same thing. I usually send parts for free. I just, I'm not here to get rich. I'm here to make friends. And if you could see all the pictures on the wall, I've got a lot of friends coming. So that's about it. The next video right after this one I'm gonna do and upload separately, I need help. But this time it's not with the uh, Lawn Boy. I did get it running by inducing gas through the carburetor into the engine because the needle valve was stuck. So I threw it in my handy dandy Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner, which took me longer to get it to start vibrating than it took to clean the carburetor. But as you can see, the cleaners do an awesome job getting off all the grease and oil and dirt inside. 
So when I'm done with videos today, I'll be throwing this back on and see if I can get some gas to go into the carburetor. The little rubber tipped needle valve was stuck and wouldn't let any gas in because it sat for so many years. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, like I said, put them in the description box. Um, I, I don't know how you, I don't know how to explain this to you, but when you write a question in this description box, I've got a question here from a viewer. It says, hi, Jim. Was wondering if you had any good spindles for sale for my 28 inch snapper. And he's got the model number. And then it, it can only print, if you can see it, so much. Then I have to touch it and it goes to the video that he was on when he watched it. But when you get done typing this, you have to send it. His portion of his question is here, but when I touch it, it doesn't go anywhere because he never sent it. So there's no way I can get a hold of you to tell you, yeah, I've got spindles, but there's, there's no way for me to get a hold of them. I'm hoping he'll send me another question or comment and send it this time. So that's it. You computer guys, watch the next video because I need your help. And hopefully it's going to help a lot of viewers. I'll give you a hint. I need a bulletin board. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and keep on snapping. We'll talk to you soon. So long.